This is Cax Blastered from the Cax Blastered Show with your Null DC tutorial. Let's go through this real quick. Okay, I, here's my recycling bin. Capcom vs. SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. This is the RAR file. You're going to see it stacked. You want to extract it. I extracted it into my Null DC folder. I called it Dreamcast. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, here we are. We're in the folder. Capcom versus SNK. Now you would assume that the bin file here, this one million size bin, KB min, it's over a gig, bin file is the source file. No, the executable, which you're going to search out, is this one KB GDI file. Okay, now let's talk about the BIOS. They're going to come WinRAR too. You want to extract them, put the BIOS file right in here, and then you have to pick the region. The, the European, the American, and the Japanese regions are all named the same thing. You've got to pick one. I'm using this Japanese game, which does say NTSC, whatever. This is the Japanese region-specific BIOS. Okay, let's open up Null DC. It's as simple as that. Now, you want to go to File. Now, the thing is, this gets very confusing, and you're going to assume that your computer is incompatible or... You know, you don't have enough memory, RAM, what have you, you know, not a good GD, graphics and user interface file, uh, graphics card, whatnot. Don't, be, don't believe it. Open bin is for BIOS. You hit open bin, boom. Now, it's, I'm, I'm, this right here is the game folder. We don't want that. We want to search out the BIOS. If you search out the game folder, let me show you what happens. Here's the black screen that runs behind it. Oh, okay, select image file. Okay, boom. You're going to assume, because I, I searched out the game, and what I was looking for was the BIOS. Press any key to continue. Okay, okay. Oh, bullshit. Now you're going to assume that the thing doesn't work, which does happen all the time. What you want to do, open bin searches out the BIOS. It searches out the BIOS. You want this. That's what you want. And then it's select image file. All these menus are the same. That's why they're confusing. Press any key to continue, see? Doesn't work. What you want to do is, you've already searched out the BIOS, now you want to go to normal boot. Oh look, the menu is exactly the same. How confusing, how annoyingly confusing. Now we want that one KB GDI file. Boom, we're in. Oh look, look at this. The whole thing is crunching numbers, initializing, crunching code, initializing 3D renderer, it doesn't say hit any button, it's already rolling. This thing is already rolling. Okay, let's show me the menu. Here it is, the game's running. Wonderful. Okay, let's start over. Now you're not going to be able to work the controls while the game is running. How annoying. Another annoying thing. Now you want to go to options. Select plugins. Here's the menu. Select the first one. Null DC controller winhook June 20, 2010 on port A Maple input saves plugin. You want to select that one. Boom. If you don't if you select another one, you may not get go to port A. You may not get the configure keys for player one. It won't show up and you'll be you'll be running in circles because none of the other tutorials tell you this. Okay. Now here we are with the uh, controller setup. You gotta use joint to key because it says right at the bottom. Click a button. Then press the key if you want to use it, you want to use for it. If you want to use joysticks, try the joy to key utility. You're gonna have to. Good luck. A uh, lot of luck trying to get the controller to work within the, within the emulator. You're not gonna get it to happen. Here's joy to key. You can download it if you search it on Google. Not a big deal. I'm using BND Cam to record this in case anybody's curious. Boom. Okay, I've set it up, set this up already. Up is the letter I. Now the computer joy to key makes your controller basically a keyboard. So basically, you press up on your controller, the, the computer is going to read it as a, a keyboard device pressing I, and then the emulator is going to see I as up, and then you're going to go up, and that's the way it works. This has been Cax Blastered with your Null DC tutorial.